Hello everyone, this is John Knable from Milwaukee SEO Company and this video is going to be about how to create an image that is the perfect side for the perfect size for this slider using a photo editing program namely using GIMP which is a free and open source photo editor similar to Photoshop it's basically just as good and it's free so use it this is the GIMP website it's just simply GIMP.org and once you go there the download link is right there on the home page so assuming you have that go ahead and click open your GIMP program and you can click file open to find your image files but in my case I'm gonna go ahead and open the image from here and here's my desert photo right click and I'll wow that took a long time to load let's open with GIMP GNU image manipulation program same thing and here we go so you can see at the top that this image is 1024 pixels by six um, by 768 and we want it to be a little smaller than that so let's go ahead and find out how big this image actually is when I inspect the element I can find that the image itself is actually 912 by 502 pixels so that's how big I want my GIMP image to be. So all I have to do is go to image, scale image, and 912 makes uh, the height 684. So um, how do I want to do that? Yes, that's what I want to do. Um, we'll scale it down to that. And let's try that again. How, how much was that? it's 912 by 502 so I'm going to have to either choose to expand the image and pixelate it or crop it and I'm gonna go ahead and crop it so let's go ahead and do a canvas size go to image canvas size now we got 912 by 502 and let's center it and um, if I center that and look at it, then basically it's it's cropping it for me all automatically. But if I didn't want to do it automatically, I could also do it like this. Use the rectangle select, just grab an area. Now I know I want the size to be 912 by 502, and the position should be 0 and 0 to, to start off with. And then I can go ahead and just drag it to where I want it to be. Say I want more of the earth, maybe more of the sky. I am actually going to do pretty close to the middle. And check the position. I'm minus 2, so I got a little off. Let's go back to 0. And there we, we are. So then I go ahead and go image, crop to selection. And there we go. So this image is exactly the same size as this slider here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add some text. I'm going to do some text so let's do the A for text and just drag and I'm going to say this is my desert uh, maybe it's not my desert it's my favorite desert and then I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and choose a color from right here let's change it to blue it's dark enough it's kind of blue on blue but we'll keep it change the size to uh, 36 and we'll spread it out a little farther there we go then let's go ahead and change the font all we have to do is click this and um, let's find a good one Cordia UPC let's try that now it's really thin and small so I'm gonna bold it and then I'm gonna go ahead and raise the font to 52 that's even she looks not bad we'll do that then let's go ahead and create another image area text area down here and we'll call it it is the Gobi 
I really don't know if that's true. But um, let's pretend it is. And let's say that this is the right size. So then I'm going to click the Move tool. I actually have to click right on the text, which is a little bit strange. But there we go. And if I want to go back and edit that, I click that again. And I'm going to put a dash right there. And there we go. So now all I have to do is go ahead and if I save it, it's going to save this project and I can come back to it. You can see that I've got a couple layers which I can hide and show. I've got three layers. So if I want to return to this project and edit it again, I'm going to definitely want to use the save function. That's a good idea. But if I want to just save it as an image, then all I have to do is export it and I'm going to say Desert 2. And then I can go ahead and select by file type and um, I can do it as a JPEG or I can do it as a PNG. Those are the two big ones that you'd want to use. Um, PNGs have the advantage of being transparent. Um, they're not transparent necessarily but if you do have transparent areas um, they will show up transparently. Um, maybe I'll explain that in another video, but uh, basically JPEG and PNG work similarly. Um, sometimes one is better than the other in different scenarios for uh, quality and for um, you know page speed. So you want to be aware of those uh, sometimes in the more advanced levels, but otherwise you can just kind of just do it as one or the other. So you go ahead and export it and there you go. So that was how to make an image for an image slider in GIMP. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.